everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a garden tour for you. We're heading towards the end of June and the garden is really waking up. We have a lot of wonderful new blooms and I wanna show you around. So we moved here at the very beginning of March and of course, at the end of winter, the garden wasn't looking so good. So we started the process of creating new areas and adding some plants. We created a wonderful new border. We revamped the terrace and created a woodland garden. So one project at a time, we're making this new garden our own. And I hope you will join me in this journey. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you enjoy today's tour. So let's start the tour. Just in front of me, we have a beautiful container island. I just put that together so go check it out it's called the terrace makeover we just planted those beautiful containers full of gorgeous color for summer so let's let's have a look definitely the most striking color right now is this beautiful lily i absolutely love that burgundy color it's a variety called landini and i have two just two containers but they're already bringing so much. They're not gonna last very long, so I'll need to replace them. Of course, we have our three roses. This is, well, this is faded a little bit, but this is Roald Dahl, a beautiful apricot rose. I also have Wild Eve, all bloomed out right now, but I'll, I'll put in some footage of what it looked like. I really love the pink in it. And here, this beautiful white bush is our third rose. I really love it. It's a little bit more open. We still have a lot of blooms to wait on this one. And all around, I dotted some containers. This one is absolutely wonderful. I have my first looping blooms ever. They look a bit tired now, but I really love the pink. We have those dwarf sweet peas that are flowering. I need to pick the flowers. The dientist over there is doing really well. It's, it's lovely. In the middle, look how tall this is. This is a verbena. It's doing what it should in the middle. It's our tall interest. The basil also looks, it should come in closer on that. Look at that. Look how fluffy and big and bulky. This filled in really nicely. Oh, look here. I don't know if you can see that. Our first Nicosiana bloom. Look at her. In pink, that's lovely. And then on the other side, we have a Dahlia, but we don't have blooms just yet and a repeat of the sweet peas on that side. So on that side also, more Nicosiana that's waiting to bloom, that's really great. It's gonna bloom for a very long time, so I'm really excited. <gasps> Those lady blooms are everything. Here we have a Dahlia. I think this is takeoff. We have a first bud, so that shouldn't be very long. And just at its feet, more, more of those sweet peas. They're looking really great. I need to harvest the flowers. Another Dahlia here, but no buds yet. Still waiting for a couple more blooms, so that's filling in nicely. Shimba, Ooh, baby. Mm, baby. Okay. I also had another cluster of containers right here. Another rose from the UK. This one is called the Lady Gardener. Again, we're a little bit in between of flushes right now, but it's, it's doing well. And I have another container with a lupin, more basil that exploded. And again, that tall spiky verbena that's beautiful. And some more roses, actually, actually this is a climbing rose called the Generous Gardener. I really need to give it something to climb on. So uh, I still have a few things to plant. Actually, I'm a little bit behind. I have some dahlias, a lot of seedlings still that need some work and I need to keep up on pest control because things go really fast here, but also get snacked on really fast. Anyway, I wanted to give you an update on the border that we put together earlier on the channel. It's looking absolutely lush. Let's have a look. Ta-da! Look at it! I'm so excited about how it turned out, really. And finally, we have more blooms. We have this beautiful, pretty bright magenta rose. It's still pink, so my bets are right. Actually, those first three here that we have are a little bit of a lighter pink and they're a little bit bloomed out. This is the color of the other three roses, a little bit paler with just a little bit of white. And then we have this one that's magenta and some more buds on the first one. So we'll see what color it is, but everything came to life. The first color was a beautiful scabiosa. It's starting to fade out. Actually, I'm gonna 
harvest some seeds. It was this little guy here, this really beautiful, really bright color. That's, that's really sweet. And also the Cosmos are so, so early compared to what I used to have in the UK. We have this beautiful Kiro variety with a bit of white and the pale yellow. The plants are already absolutely massive. They're really beautiful. I also have a bunch of beautiful pinks. It's, it's taking shape. Something else that's blooming very nicely is our very first Dahlia bloom. Do you see this? This is our very first Dahlia bloom. Look how gorgeous this is. With a beautiful pink and the yellow. I have to look up which one it is. Maybe Gallery Pablo. I'm not sure. Anyway, its colors are absolutely perfect with Aquilea Colorado that we have just behind. And it's so interesting because some flowers are pink, some others a little bit more yellow, and we have some white, or very pale pink. Uh, our Erigeron here, that little beautiful white wispy texture is doing so well. Oh. Okay, something else that's blooming and that's looking so sweet is this Temil? Temil grandiflora. Absolutely beautiful. It's producing little bell-shaped flowers with just a touch of pink. I'm, I wasn't expecting the pink. I thought it would be more lime, but it, it's looking very beautiful. And the leaves, there's a plant here also. The leaves are very similar to that of the hookra. So they're very interesting in themselves. Here we have our sedum that's starting to form some buds. What else can I show you? More Cosmo at the front. Absolutely lovely. Well, despite this slug damage, the dahlias are growing and I just, I'm just noticing we have some blooms on the Alchemilla mollis, this beautiful little wispy clouds of lime colored blooms, super, super sweet. And what else do we have? It's really the Cosmos that are shining, the Achillea right now. I really love this beautiful rose. I have no idea of the variety, but it is such a presence in the flower bed. It's full of those glorious little small pink blooms. I love it. And I think it's particularly pretty here with the Achillea, the Cosmo at the back. I'm not sure whether the rose is repeat flowering, but I think it pairs beautifully with the Eryngium. I absolutely love that spiky texture and the cool blue that it brings. It's absolutely striking to me. I'm really pleased with how this border evolved so far. I really can't wait to see what the deeper summer months are going to bring. And I definitely know that this is going to include some maintenance because of course, as the plants grow, they need to be deadheaded, they need to be watered, they need to be fertilized, and the border needs to be weeded regularly. There, there's a lot of summer garden jobs that need to be tackled regularly just to ensure that we get peak performance from our plants. And especially with sweet peas, for example, where the more flowers you pick, the more you're gonna get. So this is my first little sweet pea harvest and I hope to get many more blooms. Cosmos are also known as a cut and come again flower, but in order to increase flower production, they need to be deadheaded regularly. So I do deadhead and cut back anything that needs to every few days in the border, just to keep it as productive as I can. I've talked about sweet peas and cosmos, but really any plants will benefit from removing the spent flowers so that the energy doesn't go into seed production, but goes into producing more flowers. So you'd also dead at things like roses, like dahlias. So I actually published a video last year about some tips and tricks that you can do to increase flower production in your garden. And I really advise you to go check it out. That being said, at the end of this season, if you want to harvest some seeds, then you need to leave the spent flowers so that they can produce seeds. So bear that in mind. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next projects we're gonna tackle in the garden. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Sinda, what are you doing? Hello, hello.